All right, guys, if you saw episode 12 of Rogue Wave, you know we spent $400 on this bright pink sea -Doo. It's got tiger stripes. We don't know if it runs yet, and we're gonna use it as punishment for whoever has a broken down boat at the lake. So if their boat breaks down, we're gonna make them ride this thing around instead. So it's one week until the 4th of July weekend up at the lake. So that gives me five days to figure out if this jet ski runs, order any parts that I need, get it all together, and haul it up to the lake. So let's get going. Okay, we've got it here under the shade because it's 103 degrees today in good old Texas. And just took the seat off and already I can see oil down in here. So this thing's been here not quite three months and apparently it's leaked all the oil out of her. So you don't have to be a boat mechanic to know that that is a sign that something is wrong. So it is a two stroke. So this bottom tank is fuel. This top one is oil, so you fill your oil, two-stroke oil, right there. So I think first thing I need to do, get the power washer out, clean this thing up. All right, I got this thing power washed. Look at the hydro turf. Came out bright pink. I thought I was gonna have to get new, new map, but that looks pretty good. Engine looks about as good as it can for being 32 years old. So I'm gonna go steal a battery out of the old Polaris. See what this thing does when we give it some juice. Oh, something's clicking. Ooh. Ooh, it turns over good. Oh, it's kind of clicking in there. That turns over really good. It turns over without the lanyard. I think, well, let's take the air box off and then we'll get some carb cleaner. Hey, I'll throw that over there. I don't need that. All right, we'll spray some carb cleaner or starting fluid, whatever I can find. Spray that in here, see if it'll crack off. Okay, so just from pushing the starter button a couple times right there, pieces of plastic falling out of the back of the jet pump here. You guys who've worked on CDs before, you know what this means. The old wear ring is destroyed. So that kind of sucks, because that means I've got to take that whole jet pump apart, replace the wear ring. You know, it's a consumable item, but I've never seen one just fall apart like that. So that's all right. We don't care about that right now. We would just want to see if this thing's going to run. All right, first attempt at the old pink Punisher. Battery hooked up. Let's see what we get. All right. Give her just a little to start with there. Ooh, the first try, son, the first try. Oh, it's idling. It's idling on its own. Look at that, son. Look at that. Dude. Woo! 
<laughs> oh, dude, it runs. Yeah, two strokes are awesome. It started to run on its own, its own fuel, that old fuel. Sounded kind of crappy, but it ran. That's awesome. That is awesome. So it's got no oil, so I don't want to run it too much like that. But that's pretty good. So I'm gonna get the multimeter out. We'll hook it up, see if it makes any voltage. We'll run it again just for a second. That'll tell us if the charging system, it's like a, like a lawnmower or something. There's a little rotor and stator in there. It makes just a little bit of electricity just to charge the battery. So we'll check that, but man, that's awesome. Oh, so there was some water still in the exhaust. Oh, yeah, straight two-stroke oil. That's good. Okay, 1227, all right, so kill lanyard works. Wasn't getting any voltage higher than what is reading now, 1227, so I don't think we're making electricity. All right, I've resorted to the shop manual. So I've downloaded the 1990 c manual here, and it says we should have under an ohm of resistance for the magneto. Okay, so the black and yellow and the yellow wire should be the Magneto for the charging system, not for the actual spark of the engine. That's a separate coil. And let's see, we are getting overload, no continuities. So the charging coil on this Magneto is shot. So I'll order one of those. Looks like we gotta take a, a day or two break here. Get back to this tomorrow or the next day. All right guys, it's a couple days later. I got some new parts in. Let me show you what I've got. So here's a new magneto. So these bottom three coils are tied together. This is what makes the AC voltage that charges the battery. So this is 50 bucks. That's not too bad. Just in case I got a new voltage regulator. This is what converts the AC electricity out of here into DC to charge the battery. This is 18 bucks, so that's pretty cheap. And then $40 got us a new wear ring for the jet pump. So this is gonna replace the one that's falling apart in here. Gotta take this apart, get the impeller out. been about an hour, hour and a half maybe. Let me show you guys around this thing real quick. So it's a single carb, right? Here's the, the main thing on these. This is the two stroke oil pump. So when you get on the throttle, it obviously moves the butterfly on the carb, but here we go. It also opens up this oil pump to pump more two stroke oil through these itty bitty tubes right here into each cylinder. That's how you get your two stroke oil. Yeah, I did test the old Magneto again, just to make sure, and there is no continuity through the charging coil. So this thing truly is shot. So it's good we took it off. So I've really only got 24 hours till we're headed up to the lake tomorrow, meet the gang. So I've still got to get this engine back together, get that jet pump together, get the trailer hooked up, 
and get up to the lake. So it is officially rush time now. It's getting late too. It's about 11.30 at night. It's gonna be one of those long nights. <laughs> That thing is full of oil. Yeah, buddy. Two stroke. Come on. There you go. Okay. Exhaust. Oh, shit. Oh. No. No, man. Come on. Oh, rehooked. Good. Oh, here we go. Hello. And all my excitement, I forgot to check if the new magneto is making voltage or not. So, one more time, I'm gonna fire it up without the water. Let's see if we get voltage. Okay, 12.3, fire it up. up to 13, just barely revving it, so new Magneto's good. All right, guys, so let's add everything up. We've got $400 in the c itself. I got a battery today for 60 bucks. We've got $50 in a new stator, $20 in a new voltage regulator to fix the charging system, $40 in a new wire ring to fix the jet pump, and so that puts us all in for $570 so far. So that's not too bad when you consider the cheapest Sea-Doo model nowadays, the Spark. I think they're like seven, eight thousand dollars once you get out the doors. Okay, so now it's sea trial time. We've got to get this thing up to the lake and see if it actually runs in the water. So it's Fourth of July weekend. Everybody's headed up to the lake right now. I'm loaded up. I've got the old Polaris Ranger, so we can load the Pink Punisher down at the beach. That way we can stay away from the marina. I don't want to clog the boat ramp up with that thing, trying to get it to run, especially on a holiday weekend. I'm going to save the sea trials for the next video though, so thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to hit the road, and we'll see you guys on the next video.